So problem framing, one of the most important and yet most challenging sections of a design thinking approach. Uh, but it's important that we spend enough time on it. Why? Because the way that we frame a problem determines the context, the meaning, the significance, and the scope of the project that we're working on. So, you know, it's just a little bit important. And yet, I consistently find that this is the, the stage that people sideline most often in their rush to get to the point where they can start making something and feel busy about it. Um, and why is this so? Because it's so important. I mean, if you think about it, design thinking is about problem finding, which means that, you know, by definition, we need to spend enough space, time sitting in the problem and trying to find the most useful way in. So why don't we? Uh, I think there are a number of reasons and it's worth being conscious of them so that if you find yourself tripping up on them, you can pull yourself out. One is that we assume that the value that we bring is in the solutions we come up with. So if we're assuming that our value comes from solving, it's not surprising that we try to get there really quickly, but it's not. It is in coming up with, well, what's the space that we want to play with? The second is that we assume that we know what the problem is when we go in. And, and that's really easy to do, particularly if somebody's handing us something with a great deal of certainty saying, this is the issue, please solve it for me. But um, more often than not, what they have is uh, worked out something without a considerable amount of thought around it. And what you want to do is push it to open up the space. And that's where actually a lot of the value really comes from. Third is that it's hard. It's hard. It requires a lot of hard thinking and uh, we're not trained to do it really. So uh, it's full of ambiguity. It's full of uncertainty. Uh, that makes us uncomfortable. And if we assume that there's one right way of doing this, then that adds a lot of stress to it as well. And finally, one of the reasons that it's hard is to frame a problem properly, you really need to have a good insight. And I'm going to do a separate video on that. But um, you need to be able to take something, you need to, you need to have a new piece of information, a kind of an aha moment that takes you out of your current understanding of what the problem's all about and shifts it so that all of a sudden the pieces fall back into place in a different way and you see the whole problem differently. So that's why people tend to avoid it. If you come back, uh, I'm going to do another video with a couple of uh, pieces around how you can improve your problem framing. What are a couple of tips and tricks? And if you want even more than that, then please download my free ebook called Stick It, which details below, uh, which has loads and loads of tips and tricks around problem framing, as well as several other design thinking tools to help even pros uh, slick up their act a bit.